While developing the exchange, we had to do a lot of troubleshooting and testing of API routes. Here we used Postman, which is a graphical user interface. To create, test, and simplify HTTP requests to our Express server, like the get, post, put, and delete methods to communicate with our cloud database. For troubleshooting our database collections, we used MongoDB Compass. This is a graphical user interface that allows for easy data collection creation, data creation, visualization, updating, and deleting. For application hosting, we chose to go with a Heroku deployment. Docker was not used. The challenge was how to get the files deployed to Heroku. Homebrew was used to install the Heroku command line interface. We then log into Heroku and use get to initialize a repository and make our first commit. We then add our remote Heroku repository and use get to push our main branch to Heroku. Final step is to configure the Heroku environmental variables. We also wanted the source code and readme to be easily available for review. So we added a GitHub remote repository, created a main branch, then did a get push origin main. And here we demonstrate account creation by entering the username, email, password, and then confirming the password. React Toastify welcomes the new user. Over here on the left in MongoDB Compass, we can see creation of the new user object. A returning user can log in by entering their email and password, which is then verified against the database. Once authenticated, users can make deposits and withdrawals. Each transaction shows up as a transaction object in the database. Once logged out, a user is no longer authorized to access the database. Additional features developed for user convenience includes changing a forgotten password, as well as deleting a user. Challenges included developing and testing the API routes as well as database modifications. Did you forget your password? No problem. Just give us your email, new password, and then confirm. We'll take care of the rest. Sorry to see you go, Exchange user, but we have a HTTP delete user route just for this request. Thanks to user experience, packages were brought in from React Icons and React Toastify. And for some real-world functionality, we use Axios to pull in exchange rate data from CoinGecko. Challenges include rendering the data into a horizontally scrolling stock ticker, as well as using it for a functional currency calculator. And courtesy of CoinGecko, here is our stock ticker and currency calculator. Developer reflections on the code structure. If I started today, Next.js as it parses CSS, has built-in routing, and supports server-side rendering. I would also use SAS syntactically awesome style sheets as it supports CSS variables, nesting, and mixins. Some additional features would include user roles like admin, as well as account types like checking and savings. Thank you for checking out my video and visiting the MIT Exchange.